So you might be building a scene in Unreal Engine 5 and just want to make the texture on the floor or the walls appear bigger or smaller. In this video, I'll show you exactly how to do that using the material graph. So here we have our material. It's just a basic simple material with a texture plugged into the base color slot. Now, if we want to scale a texture up or down, we have to manipulate its UV. So we could connect the texture coordinates to the texture sample node like this. One way to do this is to directly change the U tiling and V tiling here, but you cannot see the changes in real time and you have to recompile each time you change these values. So a better way is to use material instance. Now the way we set that up is pretty simple. We drag this from here, get a multiply node. And then if you hold on to S on your keyboard and left click, you'll get a material parameter. And we can just call this tiling X. We get another one, call it tiling Y. Now these two will be controlling the scaling on both axes. We can just append pen them together and then connect it to the multiply node. And now we connect this to the UV input here. So remember to give it a default value of one and the max could be anything. I'll just set five here. Tidy up the nose a bit. So now this setup, if we click apply here and then right click on the material, we can create material instance. I personally like to use MI for material instance. Now, if we go back to your scene, we can just grab the material instance onto the mesh. So the current setup will give us control on both the axes. If I change tiling X, it gives us, we're like stretching on the X direction. And then for tiling Y, we get the stretching on the Y direction. Now, sometimes this is what you want, but if you wanted to have like a fixed ratio, so your texture won't be stretched, a way to set up, we could use like a static switch parameter. And then we just type in maybe like fixed ratio. And then we put the tiling Y to the false, tiling X to true, and then plug it back in. So if we hit apply, you can see in our material instance here, we now get a new switch parameter called fixed ratio. Now, if we want it to be fixed, we could click true. So we could see our tiling Y just goes away because the material knows it's not using that parameter here. And now if we go back to our scene, when we adjust the value of tiling X, we could see it shrinking and stretching on both axes on the same time. So our texture remains the same ratio. Now, sometimes you may have more than your base color plugged into the material, right? So here we could have maybe like a normal map that you want to plug it in to the normal. And now we get these like nice little details on the lightings instead of like just a flat plane. And we just have to be careful. We have to use the same UV. So that way the normal map is aligned with our base color map. Another problem you may run into is when you're scaling your texture, if it looks like this, you probably have the wrong setting on the texture yourself. So this is the base color texture we're using. And if you look into the details, you could actually see there's this setting called X axis tiling method. For some reason, if it's set to clamp, you'll get these stretching bug on your texture. Now to fix that, it's pretty simple. We just change to wrap and then it's back to normal now. So yeah, that's just a quick tutorial on how you scale your textures in Unreal Engine 5. I hope this helps. If you want more of these quick tips videos about Unreal Engine, make sure to like and subscribe. I'll be making more of these tutorials. Also just comment on what you like to learn more about. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Bye.